terra firma, so to speak. The Star Trek franchise of video games has primarily been action and exploration based, but I've also felt like the series offers much more in the realm of character and world building. I guess I'm not the only one since a group of ex Telltale developers have come together to develop Star Trek Resurgence. In an effort to focus on a genuine Star Trek adventure, the small team of storytellers have crafted an exceptionally memorable experience that takes players on a true sci-fi voyage. Before we get into the review, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for making this possible. Please take a second to check out patreon.com slash noisypixel to support independent game journalism. You know what? You take this one. Me? Engage. Space, the final frontier. Growing up watching Star Trek The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine ingrained a love for a sci-fi adventure within me that I couldn't shake off if I tried. However, I wouldn't say that the interactive media based on the series left the same impact. Within the first hour of Star Trek Resurgence, I could tell this was unlike any Star Trek game I've played before. It felt as if I was watching a brand new series set aboard the USS Resolute and meeting its crew for the first time. The story is told from two perspectives, newcomer First Officer Rydak and engineering specialist Diaz. This was an interesting foundation for the story since you can view the crew from a perspective of a new, albeit high-ranking crew member and from one who has been a part of the fleet for a while. Both characters have their own personality traits but you can shape their approach to specific situations through dialogue choices. The story is the entire appeal of this experience, and without spoiling anything, I will say that it fits in wonderfully within the series. From the flow of dialogue and references to the overall lore, the developer shows they understand this universe. Still, they don't overdo it in a way that makes it unapproachable to casual fans. There are drips of references to the Enterprise and Next Generation episodes, but the cast does well at explaining everything the player needs to know in the most Star Trek of ways. As the player, you're expected to be as immersed in this experience as possible, as the game offers several ways to interact with the environment through quick time events. Everything from touching buttons on a screen to calibrating waves will require some player input. It's not overly demanding, and it's par for the course coming from a game by this team, but expect to be ready for everything. I never actually failed an event though. While some are timed, I always had enough time to respond or not respond. These moments of gameplay interaction help from an immersive standpoint. Being able to interact with some of the more unseen technology of a starship was pretty fun. The more significant moments of gameplay have you speaking with other characters and responding through dialogue choices. There are typically three choices available that range from different reactions. While some choices are reacted to immediately, others are brought up later in the story. I would consider my first playthrough to be my true ending, but playing through again will likely reveal new sides of the narrative that you may have missed or even a different perspective of events. A war is on the verge of being waged between two races over a rare resource. The Federation has been brought in to promote peace but somehow they uncover a mystery that requires more than diplomatic roundtable discussions. Rydak and Diaz navigate these mysterious events independently, collecting information that progresses the narrative. As you interact with characters, you'll gain knowledge of the state of the situation and respond as you see fit. Some responses will affect a character's relationship with the two, which is depicted after a scene at the top left of the screen. These will likely come up in later parts of the gameplay, but I enjoyed how not every situation is painted as black or white. In typical narrative adventures, you have a good idea of what is the correct choice, and I often lead towards that. But here, the choices aren't that simple and require a bit of consideration. Aside from dealing with an impending war, Rydek must walk on eggshells aboard this new ship after they've suffered an enormous loss before she got there. On the other hand, Diaz is forced to make some difficult choices around the people closest to him, all while tending to the demands of his duties. It's a petri dish for drama to flourish, and it fits so well compared to other series adventures. Performances where Star Trek Resurgence is questionable. There were oddities found in several parts of my gameplay that will likely be patched over time. From out of focus dialogue scenes to game crashes when trying to exit to the menu, you'll likely experience some type of visual glitch. However, the performance of the voice actors is wonderful, with Chrysia Bajos and Josh Keaton nailing their characters even across the various story branches. Also, 
Pietro Michael as Spock was exceptional. Given this indie approach to such a large franchise, I think the character animations are far beyond what anyone could have expected. Each character comes across as lively during these interactions, with plenty of emotional animations and body movements that mirror interactions I feel that I've seen in a Star Trek episode. Sadly, the environments didn't receive as much love. All textures come off as simple, and the several explorable environments don't stand out. Regardless, the music is excellent. This game has an amazing sound direction, with music matching each scene and all the recognizable sound effects that you know and love from the series. Star Trek Resurgence is likely going to be a sleeper hit. Releasing in the middle of some of the most high budget titles of the year, it still managed to captivate me with a memorable and exciting space adventure. In addition, it does more with its characters than other narrative adventures do, with a complex dialogue system and excellent scenario writing. With that said, your only goal now is to do right by your crew and go where no man has gone before. Noisy Pixel is giving Star Trek Resurgence an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.